Swift action by a number of officials in our area when it comes to removing Confederate statues. New at 5, WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough has reaction to that, plus looks at how the state plans to enforce a law aimed at protecting those markers. The University of Alabama System Board of Trustees authorized the removal of three Confederate plaques in front of the Gorgas Library on the UA campus in Tuscaloosa. This is video the Tuscaloosa News shot of those plaques and the stones they were on being removed Tuesday afternoon. We shall overcome. Something members of the group We Are Done spent their entire college careers fighting to make happen. When we see the Confederate monuments, I mean, that means slavery, it screams. Uh, the enslavement of our people, of our ancestors. The Confederate plaques at UA aren't the only markers being removed. A Confederate monument at Birmingham's Lynn Park was taken down last week at the order of Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. Like I think right now that we are at a boiling point. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall has since filed a lawsuit against Birmingham for violating the Memorial Preservation Act, which protects monuments that have been on public property for more than 40 years. I reached out to Marshall's office today to ask about other monuments that may come down, like this one in Gadsden that city leaders are talking about removing. The Attorney General's office issued a statement saying it will enforce the law consistently against all violators. And when it's clear the law has been broken, enforcement occurs more swiftly than when fact gathering is required. The AG's office says it will evaluate each case as it arises and take legal action if necessary. We have to use the lessons of the 50s and 60s and of the 70s um, to really build power in our community so that we can eradicate white supremacy. And the Attorney General's office clarified that the Memorial Preservation Act is a civil statute, not a criminal one. The penalty for violating the law is $25,000. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.